Stream has started. Recording is in progress. Okay, perfect timing. Thank you. And then uh, at the last meeting, somebody left their umbrella. I think it was either Serena or Cynthia. So if you if that's the case, you want to come speak to me after the meeting. All right. So, okay. Do you want to the agenda, Veronica, or what do you want to do? The agenda in front of me. Do is if, if you want to pull it up, maybe the people on WebEx would need it to to see it. That's fine. I'll do that just for convenience. Okay, I'm going to start the meeting officially now. This is the what's today's date? Uh, March sixteenth, twenty twenty three. Leadership committee committee meeting of CB 11. It is now 7 17 PM. The meeting is starting. I am the acting chair, Veronica Castro. Um, if you want to introduce yourselves. Oh, um, I'm Chan Chan. I'm a co chair of the education, youth and culture. I'm Janice. I'm Janice Walcott, the um, co chair of the parks committee. Cynthia Rodriguez, board member. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Gray, uh, co chair of community development and budget, but representing house today. <laughs> Housing today. <laughs> Serena. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Serena Muniz, and I am the chair of the community development and budgetary priorities committee. Okay. Right. And then on WebEx, we have with the committee members, please introduce yourselves. All right. I'm Sandra Unger, chairman of the health. And social services committee. Naomi. Hi, I'm Naomi Pemberton. I'm the um, chair of the ethics and disciplinary committee. Okay. Uh, anybody else that I'm missing? That's a chair or co-chair. Bernadette. Yes. I'm uh, Bernadette Ferrara, chair of community board eleven. Okay. And yeah, and I think that's everybody that's on the committee. Okay, so, um, Jeremy, do we, we, we don't have minutes to vote on today, right? Well, we should, we have the count. Not we went time. over the count. Yeah, changes. Oh, yeah, we don't, we don't, we have drafts. We have lots of drafts. Veronica, yeah. Veronica is the one I think that did all the drafts. We do have all those in draft form, but they're not publishable as far as I'm concerned. I mean, even the October one that's up is needs to be tweaked as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so we'll try and get those up so that we could vote on these minutes uh, for the next meeting. Okay, um, they just need to be reviewed and um, revised if necessary for the information that's on them. So we'll just wait for the next meeting to be able to vote on those. Um, so the next step will be the full board agenda. Yep, so I'm getting that now. And just for those, um, just a reminder, we're going to review the agenda. We're going to review the calendar. We're not going to vote on them until after the gallery session in case anyone has any input from the public regarding any of those items. And then after the gallery session, we'll go, we'll move on to vote on those two. Great point. So March 23rd, 7 PM, Maestros and online. I did confirm the recording company. Um, I think the board members saw that. We did. I did reach out to Einstein again um, regarding their meeting qual uh, meeting requirements, and Calvary uh, still has not gotten back to us. Right, Harriet? Harriet's in, I believe. Right. So it's for staff. It's Jeremy, Chris, and Harriet tonight. All of us. Um. So unless there's anything else, moment of silence, pledge of allegiance. Um. I know we have members of the public. I don't know if they want to just. Um. Tell me now, um, Bob Press, do you, do you want to speak? Diana Finch, Roxanne Delgado, I believe they're all in the meeting. You can put me down, Jeremy. Okay. And any, do you know the item you're going to speak no, about? Not yet. I'm going to be uh, looking into it. Okay. 
Thank you. Um, is Diana Finch? Is she physically there? I think she is, right? You could say Zimmerman and Code of Conduct. Okay. I think it's conduct statement is official. Okay. Um, is is Doug Otto in this meeting too, or no? Or anyone else? I thought there? Roxanne was on the phone. Is it? Is she delegate eight? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, she. We, we can come back to her if she can't hear us. I know there was an right. issue in the last meeting. Uh, chair's report. These are proposed bylaw amendments that. Um, some of these were tabled. Some of these. So there was a bylaws committee meeting last night. Some of these were tabled. Um, I will have to go through and fix these motions. David um, usually sends me minutes, but I'm pretty sure the no seating of time was taken off the table. Um, oops. Let's see. And there was another one that was being oh, held off on the officer thing. We're going to send out a survey. So yes, just so right, was, right. And it's going to be let them know that it's going to be ranked choice. Yeah, I, I don't know how to do that. I'll talk to Malcolm and David. Um, so we'll try to work that out. Um, but there were going to be three options. In reality, you need four. You can't, you can't force people to vote for six months, nine years, nine no, months. No, all you're doing is you're saying which would be the most important, which would be second if it was your choice, or which would be third. That's how I'm looking at the yeah, right or system. or. I'll leave a write-in option. Say they want to propose eight months, which is ridiculous, but I'm just saying, or they want to abstain. They should be. They should be able to know. All right, Jeremy. You, you, it's it's whatever. I mean, yeah. I, I thought the three. Yeah, no, choices. I'm just. Malcolm, I'm, don't you think the three choices were enough? Yeah, yes. I thought they were enough. You can't vote. Yeah. You can't force people to vote for those though. Just so you, just like. Oh, well, like, should. You know, they should. They should then they don't vote that's all or they abstain yeah well i'll, I'll write out op, write an option at the end for you could put in also just put other yeah that's yeah, what but like, if like, they put in other then they're gonna have to leave. yeah so they could abstain or exactly whatever. they could write in just like the, the reason, elections just like the elections the reason, all right the reason the reason why i suggested it was because since we're not voting on that at the full board meeting and we're right. doing it as a survey it will, it will allow us to have a more in-depth conversation at the next bylaws meeting to decide you know what would be the best course of action yeah i mean yes, the the last night's meeting went on and on with this six months nine months yep. a year two. that's so, why we're doing the survey sandy right i know that that's what i'm saying <laughs> but i just i just want remember not everybody reads their emails usually when i send out an email I have to call you. I have to text you. Hey, did you see my email? Can you please vote? So, but I want to put everybody on notice now, just so they're not caught by surprise. That will be coming out. I'll do the rest of these motions. What else am I missing? Um, the one. Uh, what about the chair? Uh, the uh, uh, the the code. The conduct code was the one I think that was going to be voted on. Yeah, that was voted on unanimously. Yeah. Right. All right, so so, so moving on from bylaws, um, there was an executive board vote that just happened, right? Yes. So I will put that in there. Um, basically, it's a request for it's a request for um, uh, yeah, request to meet with the borough president. It's, yes. I don't. You don't. It's so I'm just putting it on there. The board doesn't have to vote on that. To my knowledge, because it's the executive board that's requesting to meet with her. Um, but then again, you know, if you do that, I think it has to be a public meeting. So, but that's only if we have a quorum that's meeting with her, right? Yes. Wait so a minute. Why not like make it a public people, hearing? Can I ask a question? Why not make it a public hearing then? No. No. Well, it's, okay. I mean, it was. It, it was. It was. So the motion was um, requesting me at the Bronx Borough President to discuss how we combat harassment and attacks on board members and staff yes. in general from from members of the public or things like that. I mean, we, we, it, it could be a fairly expansive topic um, if, if necessary. So, all right, so I'll put that in there. Treasurer's report, secretary's report. So I'm going to change that to February. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know if those February mints have been published yet. I got to double check. Um, I know that I know we have a draft. Um, the chariot does. Um, so in terms of this, I'm just going to remind at least I know off the top of the bat, March 19th, I'm just reminding everybody is, is the 20th year anniversary of the invasion of Iraq. Um, whether you supported that decision, which I personally did not, um, we should still, uh, it was a, it's a somber time for at least me. So I'm going to put that on there for my report. Unless there's anything else that somebody needs to hear from me. Um, I'm going to move. So bylaws leadership that depends on what we vote on tonight. If anything, economic development did not meet this month, but there are 2. There are 2, um. There are 2 licenses, Chris, Chuck E. Cheese was 1 and, um. And I don't know if the other 1 was what do you remember offhand? Uh -oh. Something with Mofongo, but I cannot remember now. So I'll put it on the agenda. Del Mofongo, Bagasa, Bagasa yeah. del Mofongo. Okay. Um, can, can I ask about the economic development? Uh, I passed, uh, I, I didn't come to the meeting, but I did pass the 500 Morris Park Avenue. Did they come before the board at all? Because I think there's a, that looks like there's a, a new business. They yeah. actually took took away the outer part. You know that they did with no permits. Is, oh, you mean the the outdoor dining? Yes, they had. I mean, I I you know I I, I had to question it, and uh, it was you know three one one was made, etc. But it never really opened for business. The actual business that came before the board, and I was just wondering if there was anything else that came, uh, any other new business that came at that address. So, Chris, do you know offhand or Harriet? I don't know offhand. Thank no, no, that it was approved. I mean, it's the same people, but it was prolonged for a little bit because that I don't know. They have some certain. It's the same business. Nothing, nothing new. So it's the same people, but yes. a new. It's same a new people. business name, though, right? Uh, I don't think so. Well, it's I'm gonna same. take uh, uh, tomorrow. I'll take a picture of what's out in front, and I'll send. Yeah, it let's to let's. They yeah, probably let's did improvements on 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 the glass or things like that, but I doubt very much that it's a new business. Okay, I'll I'll send you what I saw. Okay. Follow up. So, uh, Parks, um, Janice, did you guys vote on Zimmerman? Did you make a recommendation regarding Zim the the design by the Parks Department? We um had a meeting, but I told them if there are no restrooms, male and female, they need to just you know hold off on the um. On the renovation until that money is allocated for the restrooms. We haven't had a restroom in Zimmerman for over six years. Okay. Okay. So no motion, but I'll put it on the agenda for you to talk about the um, restrooms. Yeah. Okay. That's a must. You know, I don't need um, children going between cars. Mm. Well, their parents. Okay. And these um, porta potties were put in place because I. I raised so much hell two years ago. Um, they put the porta parties in, but they're not serviced properly, and they are funky. Okay, mm -hmm. so those uh, porta parties are just like the old outhouse, the new outhouses. Mm -hmm. Okay, but um, the lady that came from um, Capital regarding the renovation, the park was fine, but no restrooms, no re until the renovation. Is done in those bathrooms. They said it would cost it just as much as the entire park renovation to renovate the park house. So we have to go to the politicians. Okay. Yeah. That's a must. Right. Okay, community development, Serena. You're meeting next or week two weeks from this week, right? Or after the full board meeting, right? Mm, yes, after the full board that Wednesday. Okay, so I'll take the public hearing off because that was for February, right? Right. Uh, foreign language this filled any um I'll just change it to Spanish because at this point we got the Albanian up. Um Spanish language doc. Just as a you know, we gotta do that. Site visit request form. And do we want to keep the register on there or do we need to keep the register on there at this point? It's on our I website, think, right? I think you should, uh... 
I think well, more importantly, right. you want you, we 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 have um we do have a guest speaker, right? Um, we do um Bronx House. Yes, because I know in the past we've talked about. So I think it's the 29th is your meeting, right? Let me just take a look at the calendar really quickly. I do believe it is the 29th. Uh, it's the 29th, yes. Yeah, so I don't know if you want to announce that at the full board meeting. I'll put it on here for you. Um, sure. So, yeah, the Bronx House, I know people have requested the community center, you know, some members here in particular, and people have complained mm -hmm. about the prices of the Bronx House. I, I, we're going to bring them in and ask them questions. Right. I'm going to try to get somebody from the YMCA right. to talk to, but I, right. I can't promise that. I'm, I will do my best. Thank you, Jeremy, for that. Um, also, I think maybe just for good measure, just keep that budget um, up there just so that up until, you know, until the very end, I encourage everyone to really take a look at it and really yeah. submit um, any kind of queries or the concerns before we have to submit our um, requests at the end of the well in October of this year. Yeah, and just and one thing we've talked about um, between Serena and I is that how some of these budget priority requests are not accurate, and when I've submitted them, and the, so when I submitted them two years ago. Um, I don't know how they ended up with the wrong agencies being attached to them. I had nothing. Right. To do, I had nothing to do with that. I did speak to them. I think we they want us to manually delete and then recreate them. So we'll we'll try to correct that for next year. Right. And to Jeremy's point, we're we're already reaching out to the uh, um, Department of City Planning just to see when uh, the when it's going to be open to, um, for us to kind of go in and do the corrections that that are needed at this point. But yes, so we are working on it. So thank you, Jeremy, for that. Okay. So unless there's anything else, we will education committee. You guys did have a, you did have a meeting, right, Chan Chan? Right? I think you did. Yes, you did. Yep. Good. Mm -hmm. So we have, so remember, I don't know if this happened yet. The Yankees did reach out to us. I forwarded you the email. So oh, we can, I just saw the email. Yeah, so we got, yeah, we, so we got to submit. I think we have till April to submit our recommendations um, for that award, right? The board approves it, but ultimately it's contingent upon the Yankees approval. Mm -hmm. uh, was there anything else? Uh, I know you guys talked about Catholic schools. I don't know if there's anything yeah. to announce about that. No, because we don't really have a lot of information about it. Okay. Okay, so ethics is meeting right before, so um, right before the full board, the day before. So I'll have to modify that, um, I guess, uh, next week. Health, Sandy, unless there's anything else, Naomi, I, mean, I believe Naomi's in. We'll move to health. You guys had yeah, a presentation? Yeah. No, that's oh. fine. I sent you the agenda, so we're good. Yep. Yep, I gotta publish it. Um, yeah, and one thing that came up at the executive board meeting, so yeah, to, in order to discuss stuff, it's supposed to be published 24 hours in advance. Um, a member of the public told us that actually the location should be published 36 hours in advance. We used to put the locations on the calendar, and then I took that off because it was just easier to put it in one place. So if that's true, um, I will look into it. If the member of the public wants to, any member of the public wants to apprise us of help apprises of what is the law, so to speak. Um, let's, let's try, let's, let's look at that, but we might have to start publishing our agendas 36 hours in advance. I mean, it does, you know, someone pointed out how we do have that on our agenda, um, you know, reach out to us 72 hours in advance. I have pushed members of the board for that before. So please, please help me here. Cause usually you rely on me to reach out to you. Um, but. You know, some some people are proactive, like Naomi said, she already submitted it. But the less I, less you have to rely on me reaching out to you because we had two meetings this week. I didn't, I wasn't able to confirm with the chairperson until the day before the agenda. So if we can try to correct that going forward, I would appreciate it. Um, anything, Sandy? Health and social services. I know you had a presentation. It was good. Yes. No. Maybe so. Sandy's still here. She's muted. I'm here, Jeremy. I put myself on mute. Yeah. Yes, we are having a presentation for um, April, which I already told you that the women are coming and um, they're going to speak on, you know, some of the research that's being done. 
You want the exact wording? Let me go back. I, I can go back through the email. I will. I know I sent it to you, but yep. yes. We yeah, they, they, yeah, they emailed me and I sent it to you. So I'll, I'll go back. Yeah. I'll get the wording. Yeah. yeah. And it should be very informative. Okay. Uh, housing is meeting next week. Um, next Monday, right? The 20th? Yeah. So that's housing and land use. Okay. It's housing and land use. And... We'll see if any motions, I don't think any motions will come out of that, but you never know. Uh, land use, the uh, uh, recommendation by the board was submitted. I don't know if Ken's in the meeting yet. Yes, he is. Okay, great. All right. Jeremy, with the April, I'm going back. With the April presentation, it's um, a request for disrupt oncology research presentation and disrupt are in all capital letters because it has a lot of meaning, but it's very, very, it should be very informative. Okay. Um, all right. So we'll go back to, so land use, I don't think there's, is there really anything to announce, Ken? Is Kenny here? I don't know. Yeah, he is here. Yes. Yeah, I just, I'm muted myself. We may have a meeting. I'm still talking to my committee about it. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll get back to you. Tell me about the BSA on, application. Not, on the BSA application on East Chester Road, it's, it, it's not it's not building anything it's just changing the use slightly and for a longer period of time okay we may have a meeting around all right so public safety just met this past monday were there any motions made veronica at that meeting no there were no motions okay and well oh hold on there was no motions because there is a misunderstanding about what was done previously there was no recommendation provided to voted on for the parking lot for White Plains Road parking lot. So I don't know if um, I can pull it up if you, if necessary, but I don't know if Chris, Chris is here, or Veronica, if you just want to provide a quick synopsis, I think the community is against the proposal by DOT. Am I wrong or am I right about that? That's there was, right. Yeah, there was a lot of um, objection to the parking lot for multiple reasons. One of the main reasons is the farmer's market that meets there would lose their area where they could park for free. Um, when they go there, I believe Diana is it on Saturdays or Sundays, the farmer's Sundays. market Sundays. on Sundays that they meet. So that's one of the objections. There's also objections that the um, residents would lose parking spaces that they would use um, for free. They would now have to pay and some of them work long hours and you could just imagine what the, the issue would be for them. So that's just a couple of the reasons why there, there was objections for it. And yet also another reason was that if they're going to use or switch the parking lots, the northern one, they're going to switch it and make it permit only. By doing that, of course, um, it's going to be a burden for people to pay for those permits. Yes. And uh, it's going to cause a lot of issues in that area. Is there a way for the, is there, okay, so I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, tell you that Chris and I spoke to DOT the very following day because of the confusion with our recommendation, which never happened, right? Remember, DOT came to us in September, presented. We had a public hearing in November, and, you know, we still didn't make a recommendation, so they kept, you know, prodding me, what's going on? And so we had this last meeting. Is there any talk about providing some or assisting the farmer's market at all? Would they, do they currently take out a permit for that lot? Um, yes, can I? Say something yeah, about I mean, that. Is, is the committee okay with? Oh, um, yeah, if you could make it short, but you could give some information. Yeah, because only Diana probably has that information, right? I, I mean, yeah. maybe somebody else does, but I think. Right, she's... can you help ask the farmers market operator to contact him directly to work it out? So it sounded as though okay, he was willing to negotiate something. A oh, with DOT, okay. Yeah. Right. DOT and the farmers market directly. So, Thanks. so either way, I think if the, do you want to make a motion? Uh, anybody, Veronica, do you want to make a motion regarding that issue? The do we want to make a motion to send a, a letter of objection or do we want to wait to see what they come back with after speaking with the farmers market and DOT? So, so I'm sorry, I, I got off on a tangent. DOT basically told me they're proceeding. They're not going to wait for us anymore. So it so doesn't matter if perfect. they're going to speak to the farmer's market or not. They just going to proceed. Well, look, we should, I think we should at least 
and press upon that, that yeah, they should have worked something out. I mean, I I have not been to that farmer's market. I don't know if it sounds like maybe Diane or somebody has. I don't know if any member of the board's been to that. I but, have. I yeah, have too. Sounds like we should probably at least I mean that that's a concern, valid concern, right, Veronica? Verna? Yeah, yes. I think that we should support it and it's something that's much needed in the community. And uh so why why we should be supporting um what they need. Do we do we know why they're, they're pressing forward without uh, us, you know, being able to give our own input? Well, uh, to tell the truth, I mean, Jeremy just mentioned we spoke with with the not the commissioner, but the acting the, commissioner. The the acting commissioner. Uh, my impression was that for the last meeting that we had, they would come with different kind of scenarios. And the funny part is that they still stuck to their guns. So yeah. either it was misunderstanding by them or misunderstanding by us, but that was my impression. I was expecting them to give us a, a second choice or third choice or give us a different kind of a something because they were aware that the community is against it. So can't we, can't we put something together or a letter or something saying that's going to be too late. Naomi. I mean, whatever we can do, the guy said, we're going to go with it. No, Naomi, it. to me, whenever they have an agenda, we could complain and complain and they're still going to do their own thing. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, how many times has that happened? Well, Morris Park Avenue, there was a lawsuit filed against the city. Right. You know? I mean, and they still did it anyway. Yeah, and, that's and what I mean. That's why, and that's why, you know, I understand that um, we could have done better outreach regarding the Bronxdale Avenue road diet, but ultimately, I don't think that would have mattered. They, they, I think they, they definitely took a different tact with that project than with yeah. the Morris Park Avenue one. Oh yeah. So yeah, Morris Park Avenue one, they felt like they did everything they could, yet the lawsuit still happened. And so I know people within that agency were very upset about that and had a different take on how they're going to approach us going forward. Okay, Serena wanted to say something. So it just seems like this is a trend. And if it's a trend, then we should just write a letter just indicating, you know, the things that have happened um, that we've been opposed to. And even if it doesn't go anywhere, at the very least, we as a community board are addressing these things. And we can just say, you know, I mean, why do we even have these meetings if at the end of the day, they're going to proceed the way that they were going to proceed anyway. But I do believe that a letter from us, you know, at the very least is is needed. Right. Like what benefit does that does does changing that parking lot to a pay parking lot does for the community? If they it puts money in their pockets, not ours. Right. You know, I can't I can't even say I, I could just predict just how damaging that would be to the, the restaurant that's right across the street. Mm -hmm. Right. If I can't park, I can't I can't really frequent that spot no more. Mm -hmm. But you remember you have you have a large buildings right there on Unionport right. Road, the Birch Hill buildings. There's no parking, no parking, and it, it'll be detrimental to the residents. And then you also have on Bronx Park East. There's not much parking. You take that away from the residents. This is all part of um, the vision and agenda, an agenda to take away cars. It's okay? vision zero. And it started and it's zero vision. Well, and whether it's true or not, I know when I've so prior to this, um, to arrange Monday night's meeting, it was, you know, it was me, Chris and Christian Amato. Unfortunately, you couldn't attend, um, Monday night. Um, but they, the, the way they tried to portray it to me is that they think they're going to, they're going to offer more parking. I don't know if that's what they said <laughs> Monday night. But that's Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. Private okay. previously when we spoke, that's what they tried to tell us. Well, also, to make more parking available for I'd like to see the schematic. Yeah, it's on it's on our website. It's on the the, the agenda for the this past Monday. I can meet again on the agenda for this coming meeting. Okay, Cynthia Rodriguez wants to say something. Yeah, Cynthia. So what I would suggest, I think it's incumbent upon us to be factual as opposed to emotional and just follow, you know, a chronology. It's important to document that there was a meeting in September. Objections were raised by members of the public. Apparently, you know, DOT was supposed to take these objections under consideration and come back to us with something else. 
that did not happen. And then we had another meeting two, three days ago where the exact same objections were raised once again, and they were once again dismissed. I think it's important to document that this was the chronology of events as they happened. And we do have minutes for September transportation committee meeting, so I can go back through and look at that. Yeah. So and I think, combining, and I think, yeah, go ahead. You're combining what Serena and Cynthia yeah. said. Doing so, getting, really getting to the point. Yeah. So, but did anybody make a motion that we send a letter uh, of objection? Make a motion in one second, Serena. Just have one more thing she wanted to say, and then we'll make the motion. And I just wanted to add to uh, Cin uh, Cin um, Cindy's point. Um, they, uh, Keith Kalb said that he didn't know that we were against any of this. Right. So he claims that we didn't tell him anything, and so this is something that we need to also, you know, um, bring to light because apparently we've been meeting talking about this. The community has been letting us know. We've been letting them know, but apparently nobody knows. Yeah, no, I made it very clear when Chris and I spoke to him on the phone, not not recently, but the time before that, you know, at least one member of our board clearly made, you know, was a, had objections. And but apparently I agree, someone I agree with... in the board said, oh, go ahead. No, I was just saying, I agree with you 150% that he just had no knowledge of what we you mean so to. right so and then we end up know what the no act act together yeah there's no well, proof of anything I, and i agree with malcolm we have to fight for yeah. our residents well this yeah. is the problem with verbal communication I mean, that's why i like email it's at least it's documented so yeah we'll, we'll so i'll draft a letter i'll send it to the entire board like i did with the um the land use recommendation which some of you gave good feedback on and then we'll go from well i mean Again, let's assuming the board approves this, right? But so what we could do now is state the motion. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't vote on it until after the gallery session. Like we already said at the beginning of the meeting, we're not going to vote on anything until after the gallery session. So we could state the motion now. So I'd like to make a motion that we send a letter of objection to DOT regarding the White Plains Road lots. We put in the chronological activity regarding this and the um, committee meetings that we've had. And we can also put in our disapproval of how they handled the other road diets that came prior to this and put it in a meeting and um, put it in, a, in the email and then the full board can look at the email and if we agree on it, we can send it up. Okay, so then we'll make that motion after the gallery, right? We're heard from the gallery first in case they have something we forgot, right? right. I'm sorry, and I have a question. There's no escalation process. Like, I would like to know that. What's the escalation what after? Well, after we make our objections and write a letter, what happens after that? Uh, well, we should ask for a response in writing. We should awesome. ask for a response from them in writing in our in our request in our. Right, absolutely. I just okay. said that the farmers market director said that she has a meeting scheduled with Keith Kalb tomorrow. Great. So maybe we can get more information that way in time for the full board meeting. So, okay, so if Ms. Finch could provide us with information if necessary, if there's more information, that would be helpful. Okay, I've asked Diana to um, forward the information to us when she gets it from the farmer's market, and that way we can have it and have more knowledge to uh, vote on it. Okay, sanitation, environmental protection. I know Roger, the co-chair, emailed me. He couldn't be here tonight. I have not heard from Avril. Uh, Transportation rabbi contacted us. Social media had a meeting. I don't know if they voted on anything. I think they might have. Did you guys vote to create an Instagram page or something like that? Yeah, yeah. I did. So I should create a link to that. Um, I do think I have. I did ask a member of the committee to text it to me. So I'll, I'll, I'll link to Instagram. Okay. Anything else with that? Um, Malcolm, I guess, because you're on that committee, or Cynthia, I think you're on that committee too. I know. I was there also. Yeah, ju just remember it's a non standing committee. So the chairperson of the committee is not required to come to these, just like bylaws, they're not required because they're non standing committees. They're not required to come to the meeting tonight. So anything else with that, then? Social media? I think we voted on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm to you. What's that? I just send you the IG link. Yeah, no, I I I, I think I have it, but thank you. Um, I'll, that helps. 
Okay, any other committee reports? Are we missing anything? Any other meetings that happened that we're forgetting about? Any motions? No? Then if not, we have the elected officials. I do have to add Congressman Torres on here. Um, who is live and well. All right. Um, anything else for the full board agenda for next week? It just seems like a relatively light agenda for compared to last month. <laughs> Jeremy, don't say anything. Just let it. Yeah, happen. No, I just jinxed this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeremy, if everything is recorded, and and this is going back to transportation, then you have in on the movie or the that what you said to them. Yes. So how could he say he didn't know? Well, no, no, no. Some of that was. I think some of that was pre-planning stuff when I was trying to, when they reached out to me for, a, they wanted a recommendation from us, which obviously I was not going to give on behalf of the board because, you know, that I don't, the board didn't make a decision on that matter. Um, so that was, that was discussion topic stuff, or that was pre-planning. So again, he probably just didn't remember it. I mean, no, I did want to remember it, Jeremy. Yeah, well, yeah, whatever, you know. <laughs> okay. We can skin it different ways. So no other... I know there were a lot of things discussed. It was a really lengthy agenda, right? We did have the MTA Monday night. I did send out the presentation to everyone, the public, elected officials, and um, the board. Is there anything else I'm forgetting that has to be followed up, or is that good? Well, um, Jeremy, I had brought up an email about um, ethics in terms of complaints. Okay. Regarding staff, so I really want to talk about that. Do you, you want to do well you want to do that now because this is basically a mini oh, okay. meeting, and it's better to hash it out now versus then if we can okay okay so um my um i would like to make the suggestion that we do not if you are doing a comp if a complaint comes through you can make it the complaint um against a staff member that that be handled differently than having a hearing. Um, I think that staff should be um, handled differently because they are employees of New York City. And, um, you know, I think there's a large legality when you're, you know, if you're putting your staff up against a hearing or anything like that, or um, any type of sanctions, those, th those things should come from the leadership, leadership committee or a designated person who is in charge of this, you know, the staff's time or, you know, that should be a designated person. I, I just don't think it should go through the ethics committee. You can send the complaint to us and we will um, forward it to a designated person that will handle the staff issues. Uh, Naomi, I have a question. If it's staff mm -hmm. issues and they are paid employees, should then that um, complaint go to the city or to a city agency to check it out? Well, technically the chairperson of the board is the mm -hmm. supervising person for the staff. Okay. So if we don't want to do it to the ethics committee and if Bernadette doesn't want to take it on solo, maybe we could do it through the executive board so we could sit right. down and discuss it. I think that would be a good idea. I think that would be a good choice. There, just, yeah. just for, yeah, so that, that that makes sense, executive board, but union staff, I that has that involves the union somehow, but I obviously we don't have that issue right now, right? Yeah. Right, not right now, right. but I, I mean, but we need to plan for it. It doesn't matter, you know. Yeah, you're I being proactive. Sure yes. Okay. Yes, makes sense. Okay, so um, is, did. Is that just something you want to discuss? How, you, how do you want me to put that? Should that be a proposal? Like, I don't know, does that, should that be a proposal? Or a motion? A motion. I don't know. It's up to, it's up to or, you. Wanna, why or, don't you talk about it with your committee next week? How about that? Okay. Right? Because well, they're currently the one tasked with that stuff. I know David will love this, but since I'm on the bylaws yeah. committee, maybe also uh -huh. then something should be put in the bylaws. Yeah. yeah, but so, let's start that with, comes after. So let's start uh, with your meeting next week. Just bring yeah. up your member, your committee members, and see what they think. This way, everything will be laid out beforehand, and we're being proactive. 
Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Right. Anything else for the full board agenda? I'm sure there'll I'm sure there'll be something that comes up in me in between. <laughs> Deal with it as it comes. Or Burnett, am I missing anything besides the? I don't think so. Okay. I, I was looking at. I don't offhand. Well, we oh hold on. We are going to have an executive board meeting in April to discuss attendance issues for board members. Right. We yeah. have one member. One member who's missed enough means that they could be removed from the board. It was discussed at leadership, um, but there's no motions to be made because you have to give. There's due process. So, right. Okay, so I will pull up the calendar. Then we ready for the next agenda item, the calendar. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. okay, I'm gonna share my screen. I know there's quite a few holiday. There's quite a few holidays in April. Can everybody yeah. see that? I already was contacted by um, the chair of the education committee. I don't know if she spoke to you, Chun, about. Mm -hmm. Not having the meeting on the fifth because a Passover starts the night before. No, oh no, you're right. That's yeah, the first yeah. data. That's so, data. so uh, Tiz wanted to wait till everything gets sorted, but I don't know, Chun. Is that what she told you? That's what she told me earlier. Yeah, that's what she told me to. Uh, she will sort it out and let you know later. Okay. So uh, transportation, they have the MTA coming about the Metro North stations. Uh, sanitation is not here. Housing, this is two, there are two holidays um, that week. I don't know. Malcolm, did you get any instructions from Hazel uh, and Rich about what to do with that? No, I don't. Well, I mean, me personally, that day doesn't work, but I, I guess you have to say. Why don't I take it off until you decide? Why don't you, if you want to reach out to Hazel? And I think, it, I think even with sanitation, because what happens in and we get these complaints a lot. So we schedule a meeting and then we cancel it the day before. Members of the public who are present tonight have complained about this. I yeah. highly recommend we do not schedule it unless you know for a fact you want to have. I mean, look, it's good to have a placeholder. Sandy, you have a meeting. Transportation yeah. has, has, but is that going to work? Because well, I know week. mine is because hopefully not a last minute. Like those other two. Yeah, I know the cancellations. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, the no. guest cancels in some ways. All right. So, but is it going to be an issue with Passover? Oh, I'm trying to. It depends on how we're. Well, Ken, Ken is here. Ken, yeah, yeah, yeah. The 11th, 12th, and 13th of the second of the it's the night of the 11th and the 12th and the third and the 12th and the 13th of the two holidays. On the week before, you you're only going to have. You're gonna have two of them. You're not gonna have anything on Friday, so you got only the fifth and the sixth. That's a problem. Yeah. You've already taken those off. So how about Sandy, how about we move it to the fourth? That's a that's okay, right, Ken? Yes. Is it for you, Sandy. Yeah. Why why couldn't I have it on the eleventh? That's what I already told them. You can. The eleventh is Passover. Sandy, Passover. That's the that's the night. That Passover starts that night. The last day starts that night. On the eleventh. The eleventh. Ay, 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 ay. Well, well, you want to you want to reach out to them first, Sandy. Do you want to see about what? the four? I know that they are not religious. I am not that religious. I would still like to keep it on that day. Okay, is that okay with you, Ken? I'm not going to be there. Yeah. And, right. Uh, so, it, if. Is that okay though? Do you think that's? Do you think anybody else will have concerns about that? Anybody here? Anybody else? I mean, we'll we'll vote on this later, I guess. Um, so we'll keep the eleventh then, right? Yeah, because I, you know, it's already with the we set it up with the person, and it's fine with me. Okay, Janice, um, the thirteenth. I don't know if you have an agenda no. already. That's I know it's. Only Thursday, and um, if we can move it to the third or the fourth, that's fine. Okay. Do you have a? Do you know? Do you have an agenda right now, or do you want to have him come back about Zimmerman? What do you want to do? We'll come back about Zimmerman. Okay, so I'm gonna take that off the 13th. I'll put it on the fourth, or okay. we could also do Monday the 10th right now, but right now I'll put it on the fourth. Is that all right? That's fine. Okay, and then public safety, Veronica, usually usually have a, a usually have 
And what Right. Uh, economic development, I think it's too early to know if there's items. Um, does Eid, is Yahi still in or did he leave? Um, I think he. I think he left. I think he left. Okay. So, so I don't know if there's an issue there with the 20th. Um, I don't know if we want to speak to him. I don't know. And then the 27th for the full board, which will shoot for maestros, right? Yeah, the 20, the 26th is going to be, um, at the, oh, yes. I, I got to get in the habit of making that because that's a consistent thing, right? Yeah. That day, unless, of the, other, unless otherwise told. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, somebody just, else uh, something? just an FYI for, for me for April, the week of the 17th, I'm actually going to be in Tennessee, so I won't be able to do live meetings, but I will uh, be doing them virtually. Yeah. That's, so that's the 18th. Yeah. I mean, as long as, I mean, right now, there's still a state of emergency. Um, I don't know if that'll be extended, but at the very minimum, if we can have a quorum in person, then it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, we good on the calendar. Let me change the modify. Am I missing any committees? Does social media want to meet? Uh, bylaws? I think bylaws has an issue. I guess we'll have to talk to Sandy. Yeah, yeah, to figure out the date. Okay. Okay, Serena and Malcolm, their committees are missing. They they said, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, well, hold on. So, so typically, hold on. I wonder if this is a conflict. Typically, is it the mm -hmm. last Wednesday of the month, Serena? What? It 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 is. It is. It is. Um, we were doing Tuesday or Wednesday. We're happy to you know do Tuesday since ethics chose Wednesday. It's fine. We can. We can work it out. Wait, when is next month? I know it's uh, yeah, when, no. uh, when is when is next month's precinct council meeting? It's usually it's the last Wednesday, 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 which is why what about we the 24th, Monday the 24th. Uh, Mondays are not good for me. I, I, I like, yeah, Mondays are like, and I know that, um, Tuesday is usually, which is why we always, you know, we typically do Wednesday, but. And then we have uh, that's uh, March. Well, that's this month. That's month. Oh, fine. It's whatever. So, um, Tuesday. Yeah, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem doing Tuesday. Um, Serena, I just um, Veronica, I don't know. I remember you said you had an issue. One just of the Tuesday of the month and the second Wednesday. So the end of the month, I'm open. Okay. So yeah. So we can switch with you. See, team work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, be awesome. Wait, what day? What day is this? Work makes the dream work. All right. right. <laughs> so thank you. Well, well hold on. So Jeremy, I'm only getting part of the calendar. Can you still put up the beginning of the month? Yeah, well, I want to straighten out this issue between community development and ethics. So community development is gonna be the twenty sixth, right? Have an issue. It's gonna be the twenty sixth, and then um ethics and disciplinary will be the twenty fifth. Okay, the concern with that, though, is the still the precinct council meeting, right? Veronica, am I wrong about that? That's the last month. Oh, yeah. Naomi, uh, Naomi, do you want to do it on the 24th? Is that yeah, okay? I have, I have no issue with that. Yep. Okay, so we'll do it that Monday. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Everybody's happy. Awesome. <laughs> for, for now. All right, so <laughs> anything else with the calendar, right? I got the, the correct holidays on there. Oh, yeah, and we still got to speak about how the housing name, but I guess we get that through email. Yeah, no, let's, yeah, let's come back to that. Um, housing. Okay. I mean, ethics, you definitely have agenda items, community development. I mean, I, I'm sure you want to have a meeting regardless. Um, right. And then housing. Hey, I don't know about. Okay. So we'll come back to it. Right. Mm -hmm. Those holidays. Yeah. Yeah, I know. All right, so I'm going to close this, right? We're good on this? Yep. Mm -hmm. Make sure you save it. Yeah, I do, always do. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to stop sharing first. Okay. Um, we want to move on to the gallery session? Yeah, let me. Yep, because that's next on the agenda. So. All right.
I'm going to start with the public that's in the room with us, and then we'll go on to uh, the public that's on WebEx. Sure. Uh, Diana, do you want to speak? Um, sure. Three things. Um, I would request that when the new conduct statement is adopted, that it be read at the beginning of each meeting. I timed myself reading it, and it only takes one minute and 45 seconds. Um, for the Transportation Committee, Bronx Park East Community Association requests that as soon as possible, we do a transportation meeting about parking issues throughout the entire district and just brainstorm strategies that we can come up with. Look at areas that are under a lot of pressure, areas that are losing parking spots for whatever reason, um, and that we do it in a way that's congenial and focus on finding a solution and you know try not to make it a conflict between people who like cars and people who don't like cars <laughs> um, and then i'd also request the land use committee um, since we have these new land use issues in the district and haven't had any for years if we could schedule some meetings that are really educational to just take us through the process and the rules and the regulations and the different agencies involved and how it all works and what the timelines are. So those are my three requests. So I, I, think I just, if I may respond to that, remember the meeting Monday, I think is going to address that last item you just raised. And then the conduct statement, that issue was uh, talked about last night, the bylaws chair committee, he thought it'd be too much to read the whole thing, but at least a summary. Um, but yeah, it's say at the very beginning, uh, if it does get passed, maybe we should for the, at least once in the very beginning, read the whole thing. And then maybe, I don't know how we, what type of summary we would provide. I mean, it's up to the, the board, obviously you, you guys, um, I don't know what your thoughts on if you want to address that, or if you want to move on to the next gallery session speaker. We could, you know, we could actually, uh, whatever the summary is, et cetera, with the conduct, I wouldn't mind putting it at the beginning of my chair report. Or have the sergeant at arms do it at the very beginning of the board meeting, the full board meeting. It's up to you. Right. That would be good. Yeah, before the meeting starts, right when we're doing the pledge of allegiance, we could afterwards have him read the conduct statement. If okay, with that, Bernadette. Yeah. And the only way That's I fine. the only reason I suggested that Bernadette, because of the full board meeting, right? The gallery goes before you speak. That's true. Yes, absolutely. And before we call the next person, Diana did a great job. She was under two minutes, but because we're already past eight o'clock, I just want to keep uh, the gallery session to two minutes like we usually do. Is there someone who could time it so that we make sure and give everyone a 30 second warning right, so they well, know? Let how me, to... Wait a minute. Let me. Um, Malcolm's going to do it, Sandy. Thank oh, you, though. Okay. I was going to get okay. on my. Okay. No problem. Thank you, Malcolm. And if we have to go back to other people, let's give everybody their chance to speak first. That's why we're doing that this way. Yes. And I'll let you know at 30 seconds. Okay. Who wants to go next? Go ahead, Bob. I'm going to sit down. Let me know when to start. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. I just want to inform the board that there is a YouTube video that has three versions of an email from me to the district manager and three versions of his response to me. It's, it's, uh, this is from December 2021. It's about the one-way Rhinelander Avenue proposal. There were some questions that I had asked of the associate, Chris, who then handed it to Jeremy, and the district manager has received an email from me requesting who has requested my emails. Uh, I've also asked the deputy borough president to uh, investigate the matter, how there could be three different versions of my email and the response from the district manager. Uh, now I am requesting the district service cabinet minute meetings from January 2021 to January 2023, since I would like to know who which agencies are attending our district service cabinet meeting so I can mention it when I see the mayor. I often see the mayor at press conferences and as you remember, I mentioned to him the uh, White Plains Road uh, uh, homeless shelter that I would propose, and it seemed that six weeks later that shelter was no more. Okay, so 
This is why I'm requesting the minutes of the district service cabinet meeting. I know when I was on board eight, we received them board seven or almost every other board uh, board 10 has them. So I don't see why our minutes from our district service cabinet meeting aren't public. And as I also will say that I have attended the district service cabinet meetings when I was a representative of a local councilman who had the a little part of the area of this board. So there should be no reason why the district service cabinet meeting minutes are not public or made public uh, because what it should show is it should show which agencies are coming to the meetings, what is being discussed and what the problems are that uh, the district manager is getting from the public to tell these agencies and what their responses are. Thank you. So just a point of uh, clarification, you want January 2021 to January 2023, right? Please. All right, so just I'm just letting you know right now that uh, I, from what I can tell, 2021 minutes are on our website. So, but I'll, I'll send them to you. All right. Um, Anything else? Or uh, Veronica, that's, it next? Our, that's it for us in the office. So Jeremy, do you want would you mind going through who's uh for the public? Yeah, is there any, yeah, anybody want to raise their hand or just turn on their mic? I see one hand raised, Veronica. Does Roxanne have yeah, the one. time to talk? And, and yeah, Roxanne, you had your hand up first if you'd like to speak. Did we discuss time? Yes, I'd like a 30 second warning. Again, there's lots of missed facts being spewed about what happened with Bronx, Bronx the Muni lot. Uh, the public hearing on the Muni lot was held in November last year. And unfortunately, the minutes for the September minutes when they made the presentation was not available, was not posted or provided to after the meeting, after I asked for it. And then people did not know much about this muni lot because the presentation that was attached to agenda was not clear enough for them. But DOT waited for the committee board to give a response since November last year. But because the, uh, the transportation committee doesn't hold meetings monthly, and they held a meeting in uh, January for the Metro North, and this month's meeting didn't have a quorum. And then the staff members and the board members, transportation members, stated to the uh, DOT commissioner that the uh, Committee board already voted no on it. He was upset not because he didn't know about it. He didn't know that the board voted on it, but they misspoke because they never voted on this proposal. So since November 2022, 2022, the both DOT and the public were waiting for the transportation committee to hold that meeting on the meeting lot to make some sort of uh, compromise with DOT, and that was never done. And now DOT, I guess, out of frustration, they decided to proceed. And it's not just about the farmers market. I, I mean, I'm not. I don't even want to talk about the farmers market, even though I tabled there all summer. This is about the community. They don't, they can't afford it. It's a financial burden on them. It is not just about farmers market. These people have to deal with this all four seasons. And it's a financial financial burden for a third, uh, income of less than 35,000 and the parking lot could be a minimum of 1100 per year. And with Bronx Dale, the Bronx Dale, the community board failed. They didn't put it on the agenda. They didn't provide the minutes and they didn't tell the you know, the public old board members that the DOT contact them July of last year, they were going to roll out the Bronx Dale. So this really is committee board lemons fault. How they continue to not follow up on meetings, on presentation, inform the public, or much less inform uh, their own board members. But if I make a complaint, I'm harassing them. So you go, you know, what can I say? Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. um, we have another hand up, Veronica. Edward Perez, would you like to speak? No response to anything I said. Okay, thank you. Well, Ms. Delgado, we did mention when we were talking about the lot earlier that it wasn't just a farmer's market, that it would be a detriment to the residents as well. Two people actually spoke about that. So we do know that it's not just about the farmer's market. It's about the whole community around there as a whole. It's, it's the fact so, that the DOT waited till November last year for community board to get its act together. And it, it, they haven't. Now the, the, I would suggest that you do a letter not against the whole proposal because they have to put those zip cars. It's an initiative by the city. Just okay, uh, make an uh, objection to the permit lot that the community cannot afford to pay for uh, the parking lot space that's been free since the beginning of time in the north side. But to be saying no against a proposal, that's why DOT is proceeding with it because it's unreasonable to say no to the whole proposal. We have to be realistic and we have to compromise. We have to negotiate to win, not say no to lose. And you're not losing, it's the community that's losing. That's very sad state of affairs. So I would suggest to make a motion to uh, ask DOT to proceed with the plan, but not to put, not to 
put permits on the north side and put financial burden on the community. That's what should be done. And hopefully the OT because the um, community board land failed to do anything because transportation does not hold meetings monthly. You didn't have a quorum last month. We have board members that don't show up to the meetings and they should get off the board because they're hurting the community because they don't want to okay. show up. Thank you. Okay, we, we have a motion on the floor already that is pending a vote. After that motion has been voted on, if somebody else wants to make a, a different motion to adjust the, the wording, it can be done at that time. But right now we have a motion on the floor that is pending a vote. Okay, thank you, Roxanne. Edward Perez. Uh, you need it? Yeah, we can hear you now. You got, hello? Yes, we can hear you, Edward. We could hear you. Well, we could. I don't know if he. Hello. Hello. Yes, Edward. Hello. Can you Hello. hear us? Edward. Oh, do you want? Is there anybody else from the public that wants to speak until then? Hey, there you go. Try now. Okay, um, Edward, we'll come back to you. Let us know when you're able to use your microphone. Um, I see Christine. I'm not sure if that's a board member or a member of the public. That's board member Christine. Yeah, so you got Christine and Michael Cass. Well, he's in person too, right? Um, and then Herbert Norak. Okay, Herbert, do you have anything that you'd like to bring to the committee? No, thank you. Okay. All right, um, Edward, if you if you uh, are ready to talk, you can talk now. Hello? Yes. Yeah, you're, you're unmuted. Oh, Good. perfect. Sorry about that. Um, right. It was my first community board 11 meeting. Um, I thought the board handled themselves well. I didn't know what I was going to be in for. Um, so I wanted to commend you guys on it. Uh, Bernadette, um, you know, and everybody else. I, I love what you guys are doing. I've read the articles. Um, and I know that you guys are strained for board members. So, you know, I took the initiative, I applied, um, you know, I sent my application in and I look forward to joining this board. Um, you know, I feel like I bring a lot to the community. Um, I know that, uh, you know, there was a lot of passion and a lot of the conversations that went on today. And, you know, I look forward to whether I do join the board or not, um, I look forward to being a contributing member of this community. My wife and I just bought a home in Van Nest, um, you know, and which is what kind of, you know, raised the the interest in joining the community board. Um, I've been involved in community board 12 in Manhattan, I'm not on the board, but I've helped a lot of businesses. I've helped a lot of individuals. I'm just looking to do the same in the Bronx. Thank you. Thank you, Edward. Thank you for joining our committee. If you happen to be appointed to the board, we welcome having you as part of the board. Otherwise, if you if you're not, we welcome you as coming to our committees and to our full board meeting and being a contributing part to um, the community board in that way. So thank you very much. Thank you. And if he if he if you're referring to that city publication as not too long ago, which they took a picture of our office, I don't know if I I don't think I sent that out to the board. I knew no I knew do at least one board member who contacted me about that. Personally, I wasn't. Happy about their characterization of me and that, but um, yeah, if that's what you're referring to. I, I, I know what you're referring to then. Yeah, that was it, but I, I wouldn't go by them for the characterization of you. I know what editors do to spin words, so it's fine. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll I don't think it, I don't think it was intentional. I, the, my, my, my issue is that I feel like it was treated like a bigger deal than it was. Like I was frustrated. There's plenty of things to be frustrated about, but that wasn't, that's not high on my list. That's, that's all. It's a real minor thing. But thank you. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anybody else that's waiting to speak. Okay, so should, um, we should go back to, let's go back first to the uh, full board agenda. Does anyone have a motion for the full board agenda? I make a motion to accept the full board agenda. I second okay. that motion. Oh, Thank you. Okay, so we have a motion by Sandy, seconded by Naomi to accept the full board agenda. Um, do we have any discussion? Okay, do we have any objections? 
Let's talk about it. <laughs> Wait, hold on, <laughs> Serena. You know, I don't know if this is uh okay. So I missed um. I don't know. So I missed um <laughs> the the bylaws meeting last night because I had my own this other stuff happening, um and I know that there was a motion made to um about seating time that I wasn't a part of. And so this could be, you know, I just could, you know, vote at the full board meeting and then just, you know, let me ask Serena, if I may, because both Naomi and I were at that meeting right. and I'm on. Hold on. Let I'm Serena on. finish her thought first oh. and then you can speak, Sandy. <laughs> okay. I thought she... I think I think Sandy, I think you're 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 on my page. I think you're you know where I'm gonna go with this, but um, so I, I, the last time we were here at the, uh, leadership meeting, we discussed that we were going to at least allow 1, um, opportunity for that to happen. I don't know if that changed. And so that was my question. Um, because I think that. You know, at least allowing 1, um, 1 time, um, is fair so that we're not completely saying, no, we're not no longer going to do this. And I don't, you know, so I just wanted to just voice that because I think it's important to give people an opportunity to have an opportunity to have maybe even an extra opportunity, kind of like a medical proxy, you know, kind of like a, a legal proxy, kind of like a thing. So I just wanted to say that. I don't know what transpired yesterday because I wasn't there and I haven't seen the YouTube. I'm sure yeah, it's you right. should see the YouTube. You right. should, you should see the YouTube. At right. At this point, we're kind of still going to discuss it and take it yes. under more consideration. So nothing was voted on or put into motion, so to speak. But, okay. But I will, I will add, Sandy, correct me if I'm wrong. Right. Go ahead. Uh, one reason why uh, there was a vote being held off is because um, so the proposals to that nobody's allowed to cede their time, that people should speak for themselves and not others. Um, uh, but because the leadership committee last month uh, voted to allow it once per meeting, uh, that I think was what kind of tabled that issue. Am I wrong about that, Sandy, or am I right? Um, I think you're right. I think you're right. You're probably right. But at this we point... Can't. The only thing that we really discussed that really got um, voted on was the code of conduct. Right. And the others are are going to t be taken under advisement. Well, I'm well, but they're I, not, you know, we, we didn't forget about them. We're going to look at them again. Well, I think there was also that uh, board members would not be would not be um, allowed to sit on more than four committees at one time, excluding the leadership committee. Am I correct? Right. That was the side right. too. It was recommended for three. Made with the recommendation. Two, three and no more than four. Right. So, so Serena, I just want to, because I'm the one that brought that motion and I, and I still believe in the motion that I um, brought up. But just understand it's under discussion. Um, Bernadette brought up a, also an, another good um, idea or point, which is to if the, if a group of people want to register together or you know come together and say I want to bring all this point this point to the board in unison, and that one person is their um, sp spokesperson, then I'm okay with that. But. I feel that people should speak for themselves. I still believe that. And we, you know, I don't, I just do not believe that people should take other people's time to speak in a community environment. This is, this is about the community and I want to hear from, from those members. I appreciate that. I, I totally get that. I just feel like not a lot of people, and I know you get me because I've said this before, right? It's so weird. We're, we're kind of like with, with a, um, but not a lot of people are comfortable in front of some people are, you know, and not, a, but not a lot of people are comfortable in front of maybe a microphone or a camera or whatever it is. And, um, maybe they feel like, you know, maybe Malcolm, I'm just, and that Malcolm is not, I don't even know what his position is. So I'm just <laughs> saying that for the record. Um, but maybe I'm like, Malcolm, you know what? You might be able to convey that for me better. Uh, because maybe I'm not, and maybe I'm doing a really trash job right now of, of conveying what I'm trying to say, but I really do feel that if we find a balance 
um, maybe just two minutes from two minutes to four minutes. It's really not going to be too much of a big deal because our meetings are long anyway. And I just think giving people an opportunity to convey maybe something that cannot be conveyed in two minutes in four minutes. And that's it. You know, it's only two additional minutes. That's that's the thing for me. Um, you know, we have different opportunities for for all of us as a as people to be representatives for individuals right and like you said i get this this is not personal this is community but so that's 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 all i want to say whatever it's going to be is going to be but i just wanted to go on record to say that i don't think that it's going to hurt us to allow two more minutes and what that was talked about last night too that the board has the white the right to allow uh, gallery session speakers more time. We have done that in the past. Right. And I yeah. spoke to a member of the That's public a... today that even reminded me that like they 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 asked for more time for the board and it was given to them. So that right. is an option so, too. So that should that shouldn't be an issue. That's so I so what I think Serena we what we need to do we have that a further discussion. Hopefully you'll join that discussion where we can build that protocol, whatever that protocol is. But, you know, just hear each other because I just, this is just how I feel and this is how you feel, but maybe there's a way to put it together. No, that's yeah. perfect. Like I, if there's that opportunity, yeah. I've never even experienced that opportunity. I've never even seen right. anybody be given that yeah, opportunity. No, I, yeah, well, I, have, that, I have experienced it, but I didn't know if it was still available. So we have so members in, no, we have up, members in up last night. So that was yeah, we good. have members in, in attendance tonight who've, who've uh, requested more time to the board and have been given it. Perfect. And then I just, um, all right, I'm gonna shut up after this. Oh my God. But I just think that the three, uh, the four committees for a community board member, I just think that's, I think three, we, we, if we can keep it at three committees, that, and that's a lot. But yes. Well, it, it's a recommend, it was a recommendation. It's a recommendation for three, but not more than four. four. That's just to, you know, that I think it should be a, not more than three. Yes, but it but, would be but, their choice. No. Yes, exactly. It's not that they're put on. It's they're mm -hmm. making that choice. And yes. if the uh, person, say they took three and then realized it's too much, then they could ask, look, I can't do my best on three. I would like to go down to two and really do my best. All and I that, know is that if I had four jobs, I wouldn't be doing the best at my four jobs. Right. That's all I know. So whatever it's, you know, it's not in stone. It was just recommended. Yeah, the, the committee voted on it last night. So you will have a discussion and opportunity to vote either yes. way, whichever way you feel. You know, nobody's, you, you know, you could also propose, you could propose an amendment for three if you want. That, that's why there seems to be more need, more need for discussion. And that's right. why nothing was voted. Okay, so. And believe me, we had a, a long meeting. To the committee. Um, we have a the gallery member who's raised her hand to speak. The gallery session's already over. I leave it up to the committee whether or not you want to allow um, any input from the gallery or we move on to the vote. I'm fine with it personally. Okay. Yeah, I don't have an issue. Okay, I don't we have, have an issue. Okay, I just want to make sure that the committee's okay with that. So, Ms. Delgado, um, you can speak. Yeah, I'm just really find offensive that people keep saying I'm taking people's time when it was being given to me. I didn't beat anyone up. I didn't threaten anyone. I didn't harass anyone. They came to the meeting because I invited them not only to see the time because that was my main uh, objective to get that additional two minutes, but also I invited a meeting for them to experience the community board the way that they want to return on their own or if they want to join the meet, uh, join the board by app through application. So this constant misinformation that I'm taking people's time, that people are being denied to speak, it's, it's not true. And I'm the only one. It just has been targeted against me because people just don't want me to speak. Any opportunity they have, they want to shut me down. This is, very, this is a targeted, targeted rule against me. But again, I really find offensive that I'm taking people's time. Those people will not even be at the meeting if it was they were there for, to give me their two minutes. They were first time visitors to the board meetings. We never seen those people before, not Charlene, not Jenny. I was going okay. to say one. So this is Ms. really Delgado, nice to say use, taking people's time. Right. When we use the term taking, we didn't mean it in an aggressive sense that you're aggressively taking people's time. It was just the word that was used. So 
We weren't so saying they gave me the time. They yeah. gave it to me just like someone gives you a gift. You're not, you're not taking away a gift. Okay. They conceded their time to you. We understand that. We don't. We know you didn't aggressively force them to give you their time. We do understand. They were at that. the meeting on my behalf, so they will not be at the meeting if you remove this rule. Thank you. But Mr. Oh, oh, one second, Malcolm had his hand up. Well, I, I, I really hope you know. I don't want people to feel like take things personally, right? I think when you take things personally, things get lost in the sauce. To be honest with you, um, it's a totality. I think that. At the basis of all, all of our proposals and, and the compromise that may come is going to be that we want to ensure that the voice of every single community member is heard. Um, so I, I don't want you to think that we're targeting you. We're not targeting you. No names have been mentioned. It's just I'm the a, only one that's been seen time, though. Let me finish. Let me finish. It's, it's just about ensuring that our meetings can run efficiently and effectively while ensuring that our community is heard, right? And, you know, when we have people seeding time, I understand it, right? But it does limit the voices of others because we are running in a limited time space at, at a venue that we do not own. And when that happens and we go over time, we are taking time from other people to get back to their daily lives Maybe they have, maybe have to watch kids. Maybe they're paying for, for a babysitter. Maybe you have to go to work. But when that happens, we run over the time. It's kind of inconvenient. So we have to be mindful of the effects that we have with other people when we do these things. So it's not about attacking you. It's about ensuring proper governance. That's all it is. No, but two people will equal four minutes, or one person with with seating time will be equal to four minutes. It's still the same time. I, I get I get that, but but four minutes over eight o'clock. Can can be detrimental to somebody's life, you know, so, whether it's about getting home to get to their kids or getting to work. That does go over. Meanwhile, so, I wait. Meanwhile, I wait over two hours for the full board meeting to end, but I never complain. But my additional two minutes seems to impose on people's lifestyle. That's okay. No, you you need you need. I'm just going to interject here quickly. Is that when you whenever you go into an institution, whether it be a school or whether it be a, a hospital, etc., when you walk into that institution, that institution has rules. They have certain things that they have to uh, they have to abide by to make things run efficiently. And 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 in the past, that people have have taken advantage of that. I'm not saying you, but in the past, and we have been there where a meeting should have ended at nine o'clock and we're still there at 1030 and people have to go home. So I just want to point out when you walk into an institution, whatever the borders are, whatever the requirements are, we have to have use that conduct. We have to work with it. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you but Jeremy, I agree, yeah, but the know. point is that I'm the only one when it was just homes, we were all in P, uh, giving out your time to Mr. Compass for over 30 minutes. No one had any issues. Once I started using seating time, it became an issue. That's why I'm saying it's targeted against me because no one else is receiving seating time. It's just two additional minutes. Meanwhile, the meeting goes over over the time because of the board members. Because okay. no one don't know what the motions Thank you, are. Thank you, Roxanne. Jeremy, you have your hand up? Yeah, I had my hand up. Thank you. Um, no, she she brought up a great point that I wanted to raise because an extremely bad precedent was set at the public hearing in September, in which I did attempt to stop that person from speaking for whatever ridiculous amount of time they spoke. Because not only did they speak at a ridiculous amount of time, they're extremely rude and disrespectful to the board and everybody else who was there. And you know, hopefully, Miss Delgado can attest that I did my best to. Uh, try to allow her and everybody else, or Michael Cass, the ability to record and or speak. So, it uh, doesn't mean we should continue with um, a bad precedent. And also, I just want to point out that some people who, at least one person who ceded their time uh, to others, they don't even live in our district, right? So, like, I don't, I think Malcolm also brought, brought up a really good point. We want to ensure that our residents first and foremost are heard. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Miguel, you have your hand up? Yeah, I just um I I wanted to make it a point that that um that uh, proposed bylaw change was done before Roxanne whatsoever. So that was that was a response to the just homes meeting. Thank you. Okay, Michael, Miguel. All right. So, that. is there any more discussion on something other than that? Um, 
that that topic. Are we on old What's business now, Veronica? No, we're it's still working the motions, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're still trying to get the motions done. So again, so right now we're going to vote on the. Um, Sandy made the motion to accept the full board agenda. Naomi seconded it. We had a discussion. Are there any objections? Okay, any abstentions? Okay, motion passes unanimously. Now on to the meeting, the April 2023 meetings and events calendars. Can I get a motion for that? Well, what yeah. happened? No, just the, the transportation motion, which should come under the full board agenda under leadership. Right, we may you 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 stated the motion, but we haven't voted on it yet. Yeah, I was kind of doing it in a little bit in order. I guess I skipped yeah. that, but um, let's do the calendar and then we're gonna do that one. Fine. Okay. So, do we have a motion for the calendar? Motion to accept. I'll make the motion again. I had a motion by Malcolm and Sandy. Do you want to second it? Of course. Okay. Sorry, Sandy. So Malcolm, no problem. Malcolm made the motion. Sandy seconded it. Do we have any discussion? Yeah, I'd like to make a discussion. I'm again. I'm objecting to the to the eleventh. It is that is the last night. That is the seventh night of Passover, and I'm objecting to the meeting on the eleventh. That that part of the calendar. Okay, so we have an objection for Ken due to the um, date of the eleventh on the calendar and holding a meeting on that date. Do we have any abstentions? Or any other against? Or any other objections? Okay, so we have one objection. Motion passes. Okay. Okay. Now on to the other motion. Jeremy, do you have the wording that I used, or do I have to try and remember it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should have waited to make that motion. So we're going to send a we're going to send a, a letter of objection. We're going to send a we're going to ask. So we're going to send a letter of objection regarding the White Plains Road parking lot. Uh, reconfiguration proposal by the city department of transportation and uh, we particularly um, are going to include regarding the farmers market they're meeting tomorrow with dot hopefully we'll get more information if necessary we can include in that um, the community is definitely opposed it seems like parking is going to be restricted as a result of their proposal and we want um, we want a written decision uh, we want to know in writing what they're ultimately going to do or what they, they are doing, maybe at this moment. Jeremy, can I make one suggestion? Saying what a burden it's going to be on the community to find well, we out have the to, burden. We have to go back through the minutes for September um, and maybe the public hearing for November. And I do believe um, members of the public that are here tonight also sent in written objections. So we want to make sure we include it all. And once I finalize drafting it, we will um, send it to the full board. And they'll provide their feedback before Bernadette signs it because Bernadette uh, will sign the letter, right, Bernadette? Yes. Okay. I also, we wanted to include in that um, our disapproval of the prior um, projects that they did that we were against. And so that would be the road diets, that would be any other projects that we were vehemently against, and they didn't even take into consideration any of our objections. Right. So we want to include that. Yes, and then there will there will be chronological information and factual information stating in this letter, right? And also, I'm not sure if this will be effective, but Jeremy, do you remember the map that I sent you in regards to the displacement? Yes, you want me to look at that? See if that could be yes. incorporated. Yes, because we can probably incorporate it in a way as seeing as the you know, if we're seeing more increases in paid parking, it could be that the cost of living within the area will increase. Um, you know, in regards to how many, how much people will have to put out just to be able to live in the community. And that may be a factor and then possibly leaving or being, you know, kicked out of the community themselves. Okay. Um, do I have a second on the motion? I second. Malcolm seconds. I, I, okay. I will, I will just note that Miguel, he's not a member of the committee, but he does have his hand raised just for. Yeah, he's a. Board member, so I think it's okay to, to let him speak if every, if the committee. Okay. It was a mistake. Sorry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay <we go. laughs> All right. So, do we have any discussion on this? Okay. Do we have any objections? Okay. Any abstentions? Okay. Motion passes unanimously. 
Okay. Are there any other emotions that we need to bring up? Not that I know of. Nope. Okay. Well, so we're gonna like, uh, you might reward the motion regarding just uh, compromise on the mini lot, just the parking lot, and that against the south lot. Can you, can you repeat that, please? You said you might do a compromise on the motion instead of being against the whole plan, which basically is a motion to fail. You actually compromise to let them do what they want with their south lot, but leave the north north side permit free, where it still remains free as it is. Because South Lot, all they're proposing is to do EV charger, zip cars, and then this is a citywide initiative. They're not going to stop it. It's, it's already a citywide initiative. Let them put their zip cars and their elect electrical chargers in their South Lot. We're not against that. What I'm against is that on the north side, it's going to be a financial burden on the community that's low income poor, low working poor. So why not compromise? Because I think this is what was undermining our efforts because community board did not address this since November, November last year. And DOT said they were waiting for the community board to provide them a, a compromise. And that was not done because transportation does not hold their meeting monthly. We didn't have a quorum last month. I mean, uh, just last week, just this week. It's because the board is not doing follow ups and we have to negotiate. We cannot vote no to something just to vote no and lose. We have to win. We could win with a compromise. I, I have that's a good. Other Roxanne, that is a good suggestion. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, if I, if I, yeah, if I may, I mean, you know, the um, people view community boards as being against everything. So I do think there is a little, there, there's some credence to that. I mean, right? We are, we're a cat to be categorically against it isn't always the smartest move. Right, but we're giving them an option. And That's what compromises may want. So, well, I don't think in our motion in our letter, there's, there's, we're just against it, right? I don't think there's any compromise there. I mean, I, I thought, okay, so I it. It. can I just interject? I, I thought Jeremy, you were going to look at the meeting notes to see what exactly was objected to. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. going to put in our objections, but the the yeah, overall. So, and I, so I agree with Rox. If like once you do that, and we can look at that, and I agree with Ro um, Roxanne, if. If everybody's not, you know, if that's not the issue for them, then we can do, you know, do what she's, you know, what she's suggesting. So, but I, right. I just want to make sure everybody's heard in terms of what they're objecting to. That's right. all. That's all I want. Right. Now, the letter, the motion that we did was to send a letter of objection, which pretty much is a blanket over the whole project. Mm -hmm. So now, if somebody wants to make another motion to edit the email to um, include some kind of compromise, then we can do that. All right, right now, Jimmy. a letter of objection is basically co is just an objection to the project as a whole. I mean, All right, then can I make a suggestion or a to well, amend the letter? So, so hold on before you do that, Sandy. I mean, so the South lot th that was the proposal, Miss Delgado, that we let them do what they the, want. The, the South the, lot. The South, the South lot is currently the. Uh, the one that has meters and permits. Let them do whatever they want with the South Lot. That is incorrect. No, the South Lot has per the South Lot has permits and meters right now. The Isn't South Lot is the free. The North to... Lot is. The I'm sorry, sorry. Wait, wait. I'm talking about the North Lot. Yes. The North Lot has permits and meters right now. It's le let them do whatever they want. They want to. Pro they're proposing to put zip cars and EV chargers there. Let them do whatever they want with that. Uh, with their lot on the North side. The I'm zip cars are already there, and they. Um, no, I'm just saying. There. Please, um, um, oh my okay. God. And so basically, North, the south side, so let it be as it is now, unregulated, or as they refer to as unre unregulated. Let it be as it is now, on free of free of charge. That's right. all I'm saying. So then, should we just send when we send a letter of objection? Should it just be just specifically to the changes to the south lot? Yes. And where's okay. the farmer's market? Is it the north lot or south lot? Okay. South. It's on the south lot? Yes. Oh, okay. So then maybe the letter yeah, of objection. It's, it's, on the, it's, on, it's on the south side, correct. I mean, okay, I'm actually wrote up, I wrote, I did all the flies, I did all the research, but I'm, because I'm constantly shut down, I can't even speak because I interrupted, shut down, I'm traumatized now. Uh, let's be clearly, okay. let's let the north side remain as it is. Let the 
let DOT do their initiative with the zip car and the EV charger. No one is against. We just had a meeting two days ago. No one spoke against the cars, against the chargers. What people are concerned is that they're going to have to pay parking on the north side, and it will be a financial burden on them. That was the main concern that they would have okay, to Roxanne, pay for parking. I think Roxanne, you, well, Roxanne, you made that point, and we're we're actually agreeing with you. We're actually agreeing with you. So right. <laughs> So, so can we make the motion? I'm constantly shut down by this board, so I'm traumatized. Oh no, no, you're not. Okay. We, we let you're not you're not trying to help you. Okay, everybody, let's just hold on for a minute, okay? So right time. now, right now, we are discussing if we're going to change the letter of objection to specifically state our objections towards the project in the south lot only. We're going to leave the north lot alone. They already have the zip cars in there. So if the committee. Are you okay with having that change to the letter? I mean, like a partial objection. Partial objection. Right. Yeah, a partial objection just to the south lot. It, it so, would, Malcolm, go ahead. It would definitely be a change of strategy. And I think optics yeah. wise, it, it would look, it would put them in the asshole position to get this. I'm sorry for my language. To, to, to go against us if we're giving them a compromise like that. So, it, it might, it might work, it might not. I mean, I think it's beneficial to put them in that position, to be honest. Okay, so Sandy, you wanted to make a motion to amend Correct. your Correct. motion? Okay, hold on. Bernadette, you have your hand up? What, we, my, what a, a suggestion for the title of this is we have an objection, but with stipulations. Okay, the stipulations are with Stip our compromise. Stipulations, or do we say suggestions? Stipulations are suggestions. We do that with the, with with any kind of um, liquor licenses, things that you know. Is yeah, that, I know. I would tell them, yeah. Right. So I mean, a stipulation is just not a. It's not a full objection. The thing is that if you call it an objection, they might spin that however you want to spin that. Right. That's why okay. I like that idea. Right. Right. We. How about? So I don't want to say approval with either. Stipulation. Yeah. Well, we, if we say approval with stipulations, they don't necessarily have to go with the stipulations mm -hmm. and just say that the board approved right. it. Yeah. So we don't necessarily want to say we approve it right. because right. they can run with just that. Right. We can say council offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a council offer. Mm -hmm. You so, know what it is? Basically, the DOT mm -hmm. always hated when we gave the suggestions. They always like to do it on their own. Mm -hmm. You know, they mm -hmm. got to come up with it. Yeah, there's a great okay. chance it's not going to matter, but yeah, we'll we'll, we'll tr it's worth a try. Well, yeah. as Malcolm said we'll try a different strategy and see what happens. Okay. Okay. So maybe they'll take into consideration some of our suggestions for the south lot if we don't object to the north lot. Right. So, um, what? Else, who wants to word the motion? Nobody. Put it down. Think of. All right. Um, it has to happen. Um, so, so we're so we're still going to send a letter of objection, right? It doesn't have to be worded that way in the letter. Yes. You know, the community board has concerns about um, changes to which lot, the north lot. Yeah, hold on. So the south, has a suggestion. South lot, the south lot. Yeah. So south what lot. I was saying is starting with something generic instead of you know giving the letter a title, you know, letter of objection. Maybe something more generic, like community board decision or decision regarding such and such proposal, and then, you know, object to blah, 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 and then, you know, right. support blah, blah, blah. I like that. It's balanced. That sounds good. Yeah, I like that too. Mm. Hey, do we actually need a motion for this or can we just incorporate it into the letter? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, she made it make a motion. I mean, it's well, a motion was already made to send a letter of objection. It can be withdrawn, edited, whatever. I mean, it's it's up to the committee. So I just, I just, did you order to be a letter of like decision regarding proposal? You know, okay. Yeah, committee so decision. I make a motion. We send a letter okay. of decision regarding the White Plains Road um, parking lot project and whatever the t the actual title is. That we send we list the objections to the south lot and our approvals for the north lot. And then again, with the timelines that we suggested and Jeremy can send this out to the full board. So we all can get a look at it and make our suggestions. If we have any. Before the letter gets signed and sent and Bernadette will have the final approval on it because she'll be signing it. Okay. Second. And Malcolm seconds it. Sandy, you have your hand up. 
I had my hand up only to make another idea cross my mind. If we could have something or by the Bronx Times t- stating what we are doing to really get the community to know what we're mm-hmm. thinking, to get it out there. Yeah, that's, that's a smart idea. I mean, it you know, just makes sense. Say different. we're sending this letter and, and, you know, and just let everyone know. Thank you. Was that Malcolm? Who thought it was a good idea? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So write an op ed. It's yeah, community, or whatever it is. It's community I'm not good at it. that, but someone could write an op ed and do it. Yes. I, I just also, just, for, just so everybody's under, a clear understanding, when it came to the Morris Park Avenue road diet, oh. it, DOT did present. They did present what they they did present a compromise, but we rejected it. So they just went full straight steam ahead with their original. They got thrown out the window. Yep. <laughs> so I don't know if I don't know if some of these prior examples that we just again just to be categorically against something doesn't necessarily suit us, or to put that in the letter. You know, I mean, I will say that it does seem like once the DOT presents something, they they do what they want. I mean, but we still need to. We still need to put it in. Jeremy, can, can I can I ask you something? Is it okay that we can try tomorrow and talk first before we do any motions or any letter be sent? DOT so going through all this with DOT and say, listen, it's any room for compromise. If a guy says yes, it's room for compromise. You know what? Can you take that recording if he says yes, it's room for okay. compromise? When is when is the meeting supposed to be? Yes. Full board meeting? No, no, no. With um DOT. DOT, the meeting okay. with DOT was on Monday. They they came here for transportation and public safety and made the presentation again. And DO, uh, DOT is supposed to be meeting with the farmers market about their issues tomorrow. with the parking lot tomorrow. Okay, I think you need to get something to DOT t- tomorrow. Well, yeah. I this is this has to go to the full board. And the full board has to vote on the letter. Because this is just our um, suggestion to the full board, our referral. So if the full board votes yes for the letters, then we'll be able to send the letter, but we can't send it before we get the full board to yeah, vote on it. You can't get anything to the mem- the board members. You can't get anything before the full board. No, so it has like to be done at first and then send it out and so everybody get a chance to read it already and then and then we'll vote on that from there. Um, Bernadette, did you hear that? Uh, about getting the letter out and voting and uh, yes, uh, getting the letter out prior to, to the full board members so the they members. could read it and then voting on it, whether or not to actually send it at the full board meeting. I'm going to ask you guys to uh, to help me draft it. Um, yes. But but if the if this particular if this committee wants to send out the letter. Um, does the I don't think the full board the, the full board doesn't have to vote on it. Yeah, we, we could send it out coming from the committee, but it's not as strong. But I, I do okay. agree with Chris that it's worth reaching out to DOT to make sure that we still have room for see if well, they actually entertain it. But if we wait to meet with them, wouldn't that then push us back even further until we meet until the committee meets again and then vote and then I, I think I, I think we'd be able you. to talk to them tomorrow. No, I think no, we should no, do. No, I think we should, no. I think we should do both. I think we should. We should have a form, something formal in writing, and we can still have a discussion with them. But that's I what agree. I'm saying. When we're going to talk with the DOT, whatever is going to come out of their side, it has to be in writing, which means that they cannot deviate for whatever we agree on it after that. Right. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I agree with Naomi. We we should shoot for both. Let's do let's do a two prong approach. Yes. Is that all right? So let's finish. Okay. Does anybody have any other discussion on the amended letter motion? Sandy, you have your hand up, Sandy. Oh, I, I, I did. That was yeah. discussing that's doing the op-ed or something in the Bronx Times. Yeah, I think that's. I didn't take same. it down. I got. I'm still. Yeah. Can I, can I just can I just suggest this letter be a standalone and not to include all the road dies in that letter, please? Is it's a very small issue that I think we could win if hey, we Diane, uh, Roxanne, this is the committee speaking. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we need to speak about this as a committee for the moment. Um, so, so Sandy, you want you're still looking for an answer on doing the op-ed? 
Yeah. Okay, that could be a separate motion. I don't think that should be part of this motion. Okay. No problem. Because we got to get this motion done. Right. Um, we gave Roxanne special consideration to give her opinion for um, earlier. Diana would like to say something. Does the committee is, is the committee okay with Diana speaking quickly um, about her thoughts? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank Diana. Okay. My thoughts are that in their plan, they're not really treating the south lot and the north lot separately mm -hmm. because they're moving the permit spaces out of the north lot into the south lot and increasing the number. And then the result means that the north lot is going to all be metered. And some of it's going to be two hour meters and some of it's going to be 15 hour plus meters. So what members of the community were saying was that it's going to cost a lot more money to park in the north lot. They weren't happy about the north lot being metered fully. And they also were not happy about the south lot being permit. So if our letter says, oh, we're okay with one, but not with the other, what I'm saying is that in their proposal, they're really connected. They're moving something from one lot into another lot. So I just think you have to really study the details and be sure of the details instead of saying it in a more generalized no, way. Yeah, no, I think we are planning on being okay. detailed about what what exactly we um, don't like about the project. Okay. Yeah, we're not just going to generalize it because like you said, that just gives them the avenue to just be like, all right, whatever, you, you're not specific. Miguel, you have your hand up? Yeah, that's incorrect. Um, the, the north lot is already metered um, fully. It's a metered in permit. The south lot is completely free, and um, I'm vehemently opposed to them uh, changing that to a permit situation. Thank you. So Diana was from saying their proposal. Diana said that they're going to be taking the metered spots out of the north lot and putting those into the, the south spots, lot. The I'm sorry, the permit spots into the south lot and making the north lot completely metered. Right. Is that your understanding too, Miguel? Yes, it is. Thank okay. Yeah. Which lot is larger? South or north? The north one. North lot. There is there is also a paved parking right next to be to get to be clear the way I'm reading the um chat, the north lot already has permits and meters. Yes. Correct. That's why that's why I was just saying it. They have permits and meters. But the proposal is to take the permits from the north lot, the permit parking, move it to the south lot, and make the north lot completely metered. So there will be no permit parking in the north lot anymore. That would be moved to the south lot. But how will it affect the community or the people who live in the apartment buildings and who need that parking overnight? It's that at the end of my block. And that means that I'm going to have to pay $1,120 a year extra. Basically, there'd be no more free parking for the residents or the people shopping at the merchants in that area. Cost They'd all have to pay them. Mm -hmm. Wow. You can keep okay. blanket it, but yeah. All right. And quite so, frankly, there's no, as, as far as merchants go, um, the, the, the South lot, is 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 very far from the commercial corridor. Well, not not really. It's right there. I, uh, I, I, it's only Staples. The North Lot is uh, literally directly across from no, it's not. Yes I, and I, everything else. I, I play basketball over there. It's not. It's right across the street from that South Lot. Is a restaurant, and once you walk like two blocks I over. You're in, a, you're in the corridor. Malcolm, you're, I you're, live you're, there. You're, like literally, it's at yeah. the end of my block. I, I walk there all the time. Like you're gonna see the Planet Fitness. Is you, you're in the corridor. Like if you look up, it's gonna say "Right Place Bay." <laughs> the North, the north yeah. Lot is closer to Planet Fitness, Planet Fitness than 
than the south. Uh, is that the north part or the south? Part? The north part is, is that the, the whole, whole But the whole point, point wait, part? wait, but the whole point is, right? That... One at a time, please. One at a time. We can sing that together, later. but we can't speak together. One yeah, at but, a time. I, mean, I, I just want to kind of interrupt this because I think we're going off track. The, the whole point is that the north lot is metered and the south isn't. And the board is making a motion to bring to the full board to leave the south lot alone. We're going along, we're we're agreeing with Roxanne's proposal. Right. Correct? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So does that end the discussions? I hope so. Okay. Do we have any objections? Do we have any abstentions? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. We have a comment from the gallery that our motion and determination is a disgrace, just for the record. <laughs> and um, do we have any old business? Uh, I just want to say if everybody saw the new lights outside on the Morris Park Avenue, um, when you leave, because that's the way you will leave, please take notice. Um, it used to be really dark out there. And I've been, as Chris is my witness, I've been pushing, I've been wanting to do this for years, years. And again, it's it's to keep everybody safe. The lights out on Morris Park side do, do look great. Thank you, Jeremy. Hey. Okay, any other old business? Okay, do we have any new business? I just want to say happy Women's History Month to everybody. Happy uh, Women's History Month. To everybody that's here, every woman and anyone identifying, you know, um, happy Women's History Month. That's all. Okay, thank you, Serena. Um, anybody else have any new business? Okay. Then I make them. The meeting will now be adjourned. It's 902. Thank you everyone who, who visit who joined on Webex and who joined in person. We do appreciate everyone coming out and supporting the community. So thank you. Have a great night and I hope to see you all at the food board meeting. next week. And also happy St. Patty's Day. Right. Yes. Happy yes. St. Patrick's Day. Everybody's everybody's. Yes. Everybody.